Well, now that you have uh, seen how this uh, distance formula works, we're going to work a problem here without really explaining the distance formula. So I'm going to give uh, you um, give you two points, and we'll give you the point one three and the point five three. And you want to use this formula up here to find D. Okay, so why don't you pause the video and try to work that out and come back and then I'll see if we can come up with an answer on that. Okay, so this is how it works. We got D is equal to the square root. And of course, you see I'm not drawing any pictures now. We have now grown up. We don't need pictures. So x of 2 minus x of 1. So this would be 5 minus 1 squared plus 3. What do we got here? 3 minus 3. 1, 3, 5, 3. Okay. Just go with it. And of course, this ends up being 5 minus 1 is 4, and 4 squared is going to be 16. And then that's just 0. So I didn't need all that part of the square root, but uh, square root of 16 is 4. So the distance is 4. Let's look at a picture here. Let's actually plot these points and find out where this is at. So we go over 1 and up 3 so we'll say that this is 1 and 3 and it doesn't look to scale but that's okay and then we're gonna go over 5 we'll say that's 5 and up 3 so the distance is 4 notice there wasn't any change in Y this is just a horizontal line alright one more and we'll be done okay so you're going to be given the points negative 2, negative 1, and the point 3, 1. And you find the distance between these two points in the plane. Pause it, come back, and I'll show you how to work this out. Alright, so distance, we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to write up the distance formula. And so this is, remember, x of 2 minus x of 1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so this is going to be our x of 1, y sub 1, x of 2, and y sub 2. Okay, so we're going to have 3 minus 1, or 3 minus minus 2 and that is squared plus 1 minus a minus 1. Now you notice I'm putting parentheses around this minus here. And then of course we got the square root. I get in a hurry and things get sloppy. Alright. So this is 3 minus a minus 2. So this becomes 3 plus 2. And 3 plus 2 is 5. And 5 squared is 25. Plus, so this is 1 minus a minus 1, so this becomes 1 plus 1, which is 2, and 2 squared is 4. And this is the square root of 29, which cannot be broken down any further. Okay. Now, I'm going to mention one more thing before I go. You could put x of 1 here and x of 2 here. As long as you put y of 1 here and y of 2 here. It doesn't matter, you're still going to get the same distance. All right, You're still going to get the same distance. Let me repeat that. x of 1 can go here, x of 2 can go here, y of 1 can go here, and y of 2 can go here. But it must be in that order. Thank you.